hello guys welcome to tech design hope everyone is doing great so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can make this uh, sleeve so this is a second part in uh, our universal joint uh, assembly so first part is a flange which is already uploaded in my channel so if i'll be giving a uh, uh, playlist uh, link in my description so you can just go to that link and check all the videos regarding this uh, universal joint so let's let's get started with doing this uh, sleeve in part modeling So let me go to new file so hit a new file and um, i will create the file in the same folder so here i'm going to give this part as a sleeve and i'll just click ok so this will take you to a 3d workbench so let me go into quickly into the sketcher environment so i've selected a sketch and a plane and hit ok so this is our 2d workbench which is a uh, sketcher environment so here what i will do is i'll just draw a line here so just draw a line here so this line i'm just going to give some dimensions so this is 208 208.25 by 2 okay so now i'll just go to profile and i'll just make a simple profile here so as you can see here so this is a simple profile Okay, sorry guys just delete this and go to profile again and here there is a step like this and this is like this okay and now let me extend this and trim this okay so I'll just make this point should lie on this x-axis so press C and this point should be on x-axis and let us make it is like this okay so now so now that's this overall length is uh, let me give dimension for this so this is 208.25 by 2 okay so now uh, I'll just provide a uh, angular dimensions press D and between this line to this line it is sorry guys it should have to select a line okay and now this is 130 degree in the same way uh, this is also 130 degree okay so now whatever the dimensions uh, for this is 102 and this is 16.20 okay and this is 29.20 okay and let me make this dimension over here okay and now uh, whatever between this two this x-axis it is 85 by 2 okay just make this on top so now uh, the dimension for this is 170 by 2 this is 170 by 2 okay and now I think it we are left with only this dimension so let me check what is the dimension for that it is 187 by 2 so go to dimension and this is 187 by 2 okay so now as you can see here we are left with the three more dimensions so let me check what are those dimensions okay this overall length uh, we are missing so now what I'll do is so now uh, in order to provide a overall length what I will do is I'll just draw a circle here so circle with a diameter of 153 and I'll just make this as a construction and this point should lie on this x-axis and the distance from here to here it is 
sorry the distance from this edge to this point it is 193.3 okay so now whatever the distance from here center to this it is 487.90 okay so now we are left with two more auto dimensions so let me see okay this dimension and this dimension is missing so whatever uh, this uh, um, step we have it should lie on this line so press c and this point on a line so these two should be properly aligned so now we can left with only one dimension that is that is this dimension so this dimension is uh, let me give the dimension from this point it is 27 okay so now as you can see is our full sketch is fully constrained so you can just make down the dimensions and uh, we'll just finish the sketch so now what i will do is i'll just go to revolve and select this sketch my vector will be along this direction and the point will be this okay you can just click ok so now as you can see here this is the shaft we got so now in the same way what we have done for the you know um, the first part we are going to proceed in that way so we'll just go to sketcher on this plane so now what I'll do is I'll just draw a two lines here okay these two lines and then there is an arc here so this is similar to the one we have done in the first part so if you have not checked that video please go and check it out so let me delete this you know tangency so now these two should be concentric so I'll just made it concentric and now whatever these two lines should lie on the same uh, vertical alignment so let me give vertical alignment to these two okay and these two as well so now whatever the dimension we have so let me give the dimensions so from this to this edge this this is 212.63 okay and this whatever the arc we have so arc dimension is 156.75 okay so this point should lie on this lie axis so press c and point should lie on this axis and also this point should lie on this axis okay so, okay so also this point should be at the ex exactly at this edge so what I will do is I will just uh, extract the edge here so we will go to you know <coughs> intersection point so for this intersection point we need so just reverse this and here we got a point now coincide so this point should coincide with this intersection point okay so now as you can see here now we need to close this so press line and close this now so now we have we can see here there are three dimensions are left so let me give this dimension with the x axis it is 313.5 by 2 okay so let me switch on this so this radius is required and also this dimension is required so now whatever this dimension it is 29.7 okay so now okay this radius is required so now as you can see here this is the, there is an you know uh, distance is required so we can just give the distance or else we can just give this whatever the radius we have so now what I will do is press D and between this point to this point it is 72.29 okay so now our sketch is fully constrained we will also close this curve whatever open profile we have so i'm just going to close this and finish the sketch so we just need to revolve this go to revolve and my vector will be along this and point will be this center point and it should be united with a previous body so let's click unite so as you can see here this is what the profile we got so now what i will do is I will go to sketch again on this plane again sorry and I'll just click OK so here what I'll do is I'll just draw a circle 
so this is a circle with the 153 diameter and this circle should lie on this axis so okay these two are aligned now so now there is a distance between uh, this edge to this axis it is 193.3 and now there is a line here this line is tangent to this okay in the same way the other side as well so let me give a dimension for this line so this is 7 mm so hit d and this between these to this it is 7 mm okay so i'm going to make a mirror of this curve so that it will come on the other side as well so go to mirror curve and select this curve and this is an x axis you can just click you can just click okay so now as you can see here we got this profile we just need to remove the material so for that what i will do is i will just close close this profile so go to this select and make sure that this is completely closed okay so now we don't need to provide a dimension for this in order to you know make it constrained so whatever we have here that is more than enough we can just finish the sketch so now what i will do is i uh, will just go to extrude and let me select a single curve and uh, stop at intersection and provide 1 mm and later we can just provide the more value so here what i will do is i will just uh, start selecting the curves let me go here and static wireframe okay so this is the curve that i am going to select you can carefully select the sketch okay so i have selected completely now we can give a symmetric value and extrude this so it should be removed from the body and we can just click okay now as you can see this is our model okay so now so now what i will do is i'll just go to sketcher environment again so go to sketch and now select this plane click ok so now i'm going to pre do uh, two rectangles so this is my first rectangle and there is a one more rectangle like this okay and now what i will do is uh, just give a dimension so whatever this dimension it is 8.4 okay and whatever this dimension it is 44.55 okay now now i just need a intersection point over here so let me go to intersection point and select this curve and you can just click ok and from this point to this edge there is a distance of 7 mm so i'll just provide this as a 7 mm okay so now this whatever this point is there it should lie at the center of this uh, circle so press c and let me make it a vertical alignment with this point to this point okay so now what i will do is uh, i'll just make a dimension for this so this point should lie on this point so they those two points should be you know um, coincide each other so this point i'll make it as here and now let me give this dimension so this dimension is 68.85 so now uh, whatever this edge is there so it has some distance between this center line so press d and from this point to this point it is a distance of 40.5 divided by 2 okay so now as you can see here our sketch is fully constrained so these are the two sketches we need so we can just finish the sketch so in this one uh, we just we are going to you know uh, revolve these two surface you know sketches but uh, one is to remove the material one is to add the material so we'll go to revolve and uh, let me keep it as a static wireframe and i'm going to select this sketch now so go to single curve and stop at intersection and this is the curve okay so it should be revolved along this direction and now the point will be this okay so it should be removed from the body so go, just give subtract and apply so now again i'm going to select this sketch okay 
okay so this should be along this direction and the point will be this and it should be added to body okay so this is how we got in the same way i'm going to do it on the other side as well so what i'll do is i'll just make try to make this uh, you know um, back pattern or mirror feature so you can just go to insert associative copy a mirror feature so this feature i'm going to mirror along this direction just click okay now you can see here this side also it has come so now this revolve i'm going to make it as a associative copy insert associative copy mirror feature and it should be along this direction click okay so now as you can see here on this side as well we have got this uh, profile so let me hide these sketches okay now we need to provide a edge blend here so only one edge blend is left so we can just go to edge blend here and select this edge and with a value of 4.2 okay you can just click okay now hit control w and hide everything and show only solid bodies and we can save this so this is the second sleeve part so now in the next tutorial i'm going to show you the other part and then uh, you know make an assembly of this so please stay tuned guys and uh, hit a like button as well as share my videos please subscribe to my channel thank you guys